called Escape from the Planet of the Apes in 1971. Here's a storyline. The world is shocked by the appearance of two talking chimpanzees who arrive mysteriously in a U.S. spacecraft. They become a toast of society, but one man believes them to be a threat to the human race. Tagline, Meet Baby Milo, who has Washington terrified. Directed by Don Taylor, written by Paul Den and Pierre Buell. Released May 21st, 1971. Here's the cast. Roddy McDowell as Cornelius. Kim Hunter as Zira. Bradford Dillman as Dr. Lewis Dixon. Natalie Trundy as Dr. Stephanie Branton. Eric Braden as Dr. Otto Haslin. Ricardo Montalban as Armando. William Wyndham as the President. Sal Mino as Milo. And John Randolph as Commissioner Chairman. There's obviously a lot of familiar voices in this film. And also actors, of course. First you have Roddy McDowell, Cornelius. Kim Hunter, Azira. Bradford Dillman, Dr. Lewis Dixon. You have Eric Braden, who played Dr. Otto Haslin, which later on he plays Victor Newman in The Young and the Restless. John Randolph, who played the father of Roseanne on The Roseanne Show. So it's very interesting. You also have M. Emmett Walsh, who played Aid. Basically what we have here is you have a storyline where it picks up from Part 2, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, where at the end, Cornelius and Zira leave in a spaceship, and the Earth explodes. So they end up in present day. People are excited to see talking apes. But Dr. Otto was threatened by these talking apes. Fear of them taking over the world later on. So the story starts there. Turns out that Zira is pregnant. So Dr. Otto wanted the baby taken and killed. There's a secret. Ricardo Montalban plays Armando, a zoo owner. That's all I will say. Very interesting, nice story. This is Gruesome Herzog's Harmony Review. I give this one a 7 out of 10. Nice story, nice idea, and of course, great acting. This is Gruesome Herzog's Harmony Review, and I'm out of here. Gruesome Herzog, the voice of horror. Do you like horror? Well, I do. So tune in to Gruesome Herzog's Harmony Review. A little creepy, though.